Alrighty, good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Hotcakes. I'm glad you can join me today. Hey look, I just wanted to make a response video to the God is a Computer Programmer video that I recently uploaded. Uh, it's been getting a lot of views. It's very controversial. Uh, there's been a lot of debate going on in the comment sections and there's been hundreds of people that have liked it and hundreds of people that have disliked it. Okay, so it's very controversial without a doubt. Now there seems to be uh, two different camps. There are those that are in the camp that agree that it is definitely plausible, it seems logical that we could in fact be inside a simulation right now. Okay, and then there, there are those uh, that completely disagree and think that it's a load of rubbish uh, that it is just the ravings of a drug, ad drug addicted madman who was probably under the influence of hallucinogenics uh, when he came to that conclusion. I.e. talking about me as if I was under the influence of drugs when I came to that conclusion. Well, let me just clear one thing up. Okay, I don't do drugs. Okay, I have in the past but that was a long, long time ago when I was a teenager. Alright, the only... The only drug I do now is coffee, caffeine, okay? Love my coffee. Alright, but I, do, I don't do any uh, crystal meth or don't smoke weed. I don't take hallucinogenics or anything like that. Haven't for a long, long time. I'm clean. I'm a family man. I've got a wife and two kids. Okay, so we can just clear that up. I came to the conclusion uh, that we are most likely characters artificial intelligence inside a whole world simulation I came to that conclusion basically by just using logic okay by experiencing the world around me witnessing the rate of progress with things like artificial intelligence uh, computer hardware virtual reality seeing how that technology is improving is advancing at an exponential rate and what that means basically is that the time taken for technology to improve keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter and this is driven largely by commercial competition big companies like Apple Microsoft competing against each other cutthroat competition on a global scale to outdo each other to bring out the latest, greatest gadgets, smaller, faster computer chips, etc, etc. This competition between commercial entities is advancing the rate of technological uh, improvement at an exponential rate. In other words, it keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter the time taken for technology to improve. Okay, so with that in mind, it's just logical to conclude that if Earth doesn't go extinct due to a nuclear war <laughs> or a meteorite striking the planet or some extinction level event occurring, if we don't go extinct, we continue to advance technologically at the rate that we are, then it's just logical to conclude that we will get to the point I don't know how long that's going to take, it might take 100 years, 200 years, whatever, it doesn't really matter. As long as we keep going forward technologically and don't go extinct, we will reach the point where we can uh, create whole world simulations running on computer servers, computer hardware, whether that be on quantum, quantum computing uh, hardware or, or whatever. We will eventually get to the point where we can replicate a whole world simulation where the characters inside the simulation are advanced artificial intelligence algorithms who truly believe that they are real, okay, and that they can experience everything that we are experiencing right now. It is such powerful hardware that they're running on and such advanced AI algorithms, artificial intelligence algorithms, that they truly believe that they're real, alright? So, if we 
as humanity will reach that point where we can create such whole world simulations is it not logical to conclude that if we can reach that point then surely surely it has been done before and that we ourselves are inside such a whole world simulation and possibly it's been done before millions and millions and billions and billions of times it's logical it's plausible it's definitely a possibility and i i believe that because we ourselves will reach that point then it is a very high possibility that that is in fact what the reality we are experiencing right now is simply because we ourselves will reach that point so then surely it's done be been done before and if it's been done before then it's possibly been done millions or billions of times before and we are a reality inside a reality and there could be millions or billions of these simulations running on computer hardware all across the matrix of universes blah 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 okay so basically the reason that I wanted to make this response video was just to say that in the God is a computer programmer video um, when I wrote the script at the beginning where I am very cynical and very pessimistic and say that God is a sick and twisted computer programmer okay when I when I wrote that I was uh, in a state of mind where I was working in a job that I hated um, I, I I'm an entrepreneur okay I like to be my own boss uh, but at that particular time when I wrote the script um, for the beginning of that video I was stuck in a job that I I just hated okay I hated I resented having to go uh, to work and be bossed around and uh, you know go along with someone else's agenda I love the freedom of being my own boss and that's the situation that I am now in okay uh, but back then I was very very frustrated and uh, and as a result I wrote a very negative uh, kind of outlook on the programmers that had created us saying that they were sick and twisted etc and that God is a sick and cruel computer programmer let me just say to a certain extent I still I still do agree with that because of the pain and suffering that is going on right now in this world okay there are there is without a doubt um, people going through horrible horrible experiences right now where they're being tortured a woman being raped or or whatever you know they're going through horrible experiences so in that sense yes I do agree that whoever has created this simulation is kind of cruel um, that they would allow uh, characters within their simulation the AI algorithms to experience horrific torture and pain without mercy and sometimes for years and years on end absolutely but one thing I do want to say is that we could have it a lot lot worse okay we could have it a lot lot worse so yes absolutely there is a lot of pain and a lot of suffering going on right now within our simulation but whoever created our simulation could have made it a lot worse where there was no happiness no joy it was just all pain and suffering and misery so in that sense i am grateful uh to our the programmers <laughs> you could call it god or whatever i just choose to call it the programmers of this simulation that they have made it so we can uh, experience fresh air and sunshine and um, you know all the joys of food and sex and friendship and love and um, all the hobbies and interests and everything and education and all that sort of thing and and democracy and everything like that we we do have a lot of good good stuff within the simulation so i am grateful in that sense we are not inside a simulation where it's just like i don't know there's no sunshine and there's you're just being tortured by deep probably 
something to what the Christian version of hell is. Um, we, you know, perhaps there is simulations out there where it is just complete hell all the time. So, so yeah. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, yes, absolutely, there is suffering um, and torture, and that's that's cruel and that's horrible. Characters within our simulation are experiencing that, but I am grateful to the programmers and call it God or whatever you want to call it whoever created this simulation they have made a lot to be grateful for they really have and um, so I am grateful in that sense and so yeah so I just wanted to say that in the God as a computer programmer <laughs> um, video I was very pessimistic um, at the start of that video and I was going through a kind of negative um, experience in my life at that time when I wrote that and I still do agree uh, with that to a certain extent but not completely because there is a lot to be grateful for in this simulation all right okay I just wanted to clear that up thank you very uh, thank you very much for watching sorry I've rambled on a bit and um, have a great day inside the simulation wherever you are thank you